What's good with your fam fam? Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide. We'll be talking nothing but this boxing, man. Hey, first of all, man, I'd like to thank you all for joining me, man. For those of you who are new to the channel, you should think about subscribing, man, because we stay knee deep into this boxing talk. And for those of you returning, y'all know what we about to do, man. Hey, listen, it has been announced that Andy Ruiz Jr. will be the replacement for Big Baby Miller uh, to go up against Anthony Joshua June 1st at Madison Square Garden. Now, um, you know, it, it was kind of rumored that a Andy Ruiz would be the front runner. Um, it was between him, Michael Hunter, and Trevor Bryant. Uh, I got to admit that I, I really, really wanted Andy Ruiz to uh, get this shot, man, because I think he is, you know, out of the three guys that they were talking about, man, I do think that Andy Ruiz is the best um, you know, the, the, the best fighter out of, out of those three there, man. Um, he's more exciting. I think, uh, Andy Ruiz is going to come to, he's going to come to fight. He's going to bring it, man. He, he thinks he can beat, uh, Anthony Joshua. Um, he's 32 and one, um, you know, with 21 knockouts, I believe his only lone loss comes to Joseph Parker in a highly, uh, you know, controversial fight. A lot of people think that he beat Joseph Parker. Um, he thinks he beat Joseph Parker, um, Joseph Parker is the only man that has taken Anthony Joshua to distance. And, um, you know, he thinks he's going to give Anthony Joshua a run for his money, man. Now, I, I think that, you know, Andrew Ruiz is a good, solid fighter. Um, you know, he's going to bring it. He's young. He's hungry. He wants it. He, he's going to fight. You know what I'm saying? No doubt about it. He's going to come to fight. But when you look at all the obstacles he have to overcome, man, it's like, wow. You know, um, you know, he just fought last week against uh, Alexander um, Derm Dermachenko, I believe. Uh, you know, he got him out of there, um, you know, in short order. You know, he was just he looked at he looked at very good. He looked at very good, man. You know, you look at you look if you if you took a look at those two guys, man. Uh, you know, if you were walking down the street, you were in a bar somewhere and you seen Andy Ruiz and Alexander Dermachenko in there ready to fight, you would think that Dermachenko was going to mop the floor with Andy Ruiz Jr., man. He's just, uh, he was what, six, six, seven, something like that. He, I know he was a big man. He may have been taller than that. Um, I think Andy Ruiz is six, two, but you know, Andy Ruiz took it to him, man. You know, he got power in both hands. Um, he lets his punches fly. He's aggressive. And, um, you know, from what I've seen in the past, you know, Andrew Ruiz got a hell of a chin. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, Joshua, you know, he's, he's, he's got him by five inches in height. I believe it's something like seven to eight inches in reach. You know, Anthony Joshua also can punch very hard in both hands. He's very explosive. You know what I'm saying? Um, it should make for an exciting matchup. Why would last, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't think it would last past the sixth or seventh round. I think Anthony Joshua, you know, will prove to be too much for Andy Ruiz Jr. But um, I think Andy Ruiz would make for, and is going to make for an exciting fight, man. Um, you know, that's how I see it, man. But I do see Anthony Joshua getting him out of there. Um, and also came out that big baby Miller, man. He, uh... He will receive a six-month suspension from the WBA. That means he cannot be ranked in their ranking system until, uh, I believe, it's September or something like that. But um, as far as the, the the boxing, I don't believe he's going to get suspended, man. They say that he let his uh, boxing license expire, so he was not licensed to fight. So, therefore, his three, three failed PED tests doesn't mean nothing man so he will be able to apply for um a boxing license and um you know i think he can make a living you know what i'm saying it's kind of crazy man it's a it's a bad look for the sport of boxing man is that you know you could take three peds and you know before a fight and um you know try to really 
hurt somebody inside the ring, try to gain a uh, 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 outstanding advantage, man, and uh, get caught red-handed and not be punished for it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy, man. Um, you know, it's the politics of boxing. Um, I don't know too much into the story, but I'm going to find out more information, man. But from what I gather, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just a six-month suspension by the WBA, which means he cannot be ranked in their system, uh, ranking system. But as far as fighting, he can apply for um, a boxing license in any state because he was not licensed to box when he tested positive for these pads, man. Um, you know, it's just a crazy situation, man. Um, you know, uh, but, you know, later for him, later for him, man. He missed out on the opportunity, man, just like Luis Ortiz missed out on the opportunity. Eddie Hearn states that he's going to, uh, um, you know, expose Luis Ortiz sometime this week. Um, whether or not he does it, that's another story, man. But uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. will face... The unified heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua, Madison Square Garden, June 1st, live on the zone. Don't miss it, you know. But that's all I got for now, man. In the meantime and in between time, I want y'all to stay blessed and keep on supporting this thing that we love called boxing. Peace. I'll be back.